Hey guys, Leverlinks here, back with another kind of random video. I recently went shopping, and for the first time, I was able to go to For Your Entertainment and Hot Topic, which I thought were, like, the two coolest stores that we went to in the mall because of all of, like, the nerdy merchandise and so on. But, <laughs> I thought that I would do a video just for the fun of it, showing off the cool things that I got, because it just makes me really happy, and sometimes I think that it's fun to do, like, these mini haul type videos just because it's me getting to nerd out about stuff that I love and I don't think that there's anything truer on my channel than me just being a nerd and freaking out about it so yeah and there are also a couple stories that I wanted to tell kind of so let's just get right into it the first store that we went into was For Your Entertainment, and it had all sorts of different things like CDs, DVDs, um, there was just so much like anime and manga on sale, and this and that. And then there were plushies, there was a really cute Todoroki plushie that I almost bought, and in a way kinda wish that I did. There was also this giant Pokeball one, but it was for like... $22. I totally would have used that as a super fluffy pillow, but I was trying not to spend too much money today, even though I still did. But the one thing I did end up purchasing in For Your Entertainment was the Pokemon Adventures first volume. Obviously, I'm reading this. I've been saying for a long time that I wanted to review it, and <laughs> I'm still in the works on the script for that. I'm very sorry about that because I promised that I would talk about the first, like, part of this series a while ago. But I really wanted to be able to own the first volume. And maybe I'll gradually collect the whole thing because I absolutely adore this manga. And there's so much that I want to say about it right now. But <laughs> I won't. All I have to say is that I really love this story more than I like the Pokemon anime, to be honest, because it's just, like, a little bit more intense in a good way. And it's really interesting to see different battling styles and portrayals that you can't really get with the rules of the game or just how the anime plays things out. But yeah, um, that was the only thing I really wanted to buy there. There were lots of things that I could have spent a ton of money on, so that was really cool. So the store itself is very cool overall, but I did a very stupid thing, and I ended up saying yes to get an FYE membership, which is free for the first month, but the problem there is that it'll automatically charge to your card after the first month. So. That started to bother me. <laughs> I'm a very anxious person, so when the lady asked if I wanted a membership to get like 10% off of this manga, I was like, yes, 10% off, great. And then she lists all these different things that you can get with this membership. And of course, I should have known better. A part of me really wanted to say no, but I was like getting really anxious for like no reason about it, and I was just sort of, I just... When I get anxious, I kind of just close off, and, like, I'm not as assertive as I might be normally if I weren't in that state. So I started to feel like, oh, maybe this isn't a good idea, but then I ended up doing it anyway because I already said yes, and I felt pressured. And she said that at any time you could cancel the membership and nobody would, like, make you feel bad about it or pressure you anymore. And the thing there is, that's a lie. So, as part of this video, I wanted to call out FYE because that is a total lie. I tried to cancel it out of fear today because I don't want it to charge to my credit card later. Um, with me going to college, I'm going to, like, have all of my meals provided there and this and that. I also work at a fast food restaurant where I can get free food if I want. So, I'm not gonna, I don't go out very many places honestly, unless I'm with friends, and they say that you can get these things like movie tickets, and you can use it for shopping and so on, and I'm just like, I don't want that. I'm not going to use it, and I can promise them I'm not going to use it. So I called up to try to cancel this membership, and the person on the other end of the line was like, oh, why do you want to cancel? And I wasn't expecting them to ask me why. 
I was expecting them to just cancel it. And then she's like, oh, you've only had it for like a day, two days. You should test it out and see how it works for you. I'm going to keep it for you. Goodbye. But basically how it happened. And I was like, okay, sure. Thanks. Great. That's not what I wanted. So sometime before this month is up, I am going to have to cancel that because it just feels very scammy and bad. They say that you can get all of the stuff, that you'll get like a $10 check in the mail or something like that. That part sounds really weird to me. I don't get why they would do that, but I'm not keeping it. I'm not paying eleven ninety five or whatever the price is a month to keep this thing that I probably would maybe use once if I actually wanted it. So my very assertive mother is probably going to help me get out of this dumb situation because it wasn't exactly what I thought it would be. On the other hand, a nice store, Hot Topic, I've never been able to go to a Hot Topic until now, and so... This was like a paradise for me, and I spent way too much money. I got all of these gifts for my sister as well. I got her the Master of Bright eyeshadow palette that's night the Nightmare Before Christmas themed. She loves that. I got her a Nightmare Before Christmas necklace, a little chameleon bracelet. <laughs> I got her a necklace like mine from Hot Topic. I, I don't know if this can be seen very clearly, but it's this nice little murder kitty. It came off of this <laughs> this little pad here, and it says, You piss me off. I don't know. I just thought that they were like really cute and also deadly, which is something that I really like. And so I gave my sister the gray one, and I have the white one, so we can kind of match. And I thought that that was fun. And Hot Topics membership, on the other hand, there's a thing to have. Because you can get points on a card, which is, like, actually what I wanted. Not a bunch of extra BS. <laughs> so... That was great. I actually really was happy about this, and I'll probably go in and write them a good review because it was a positive experience. And now, I have $15 off a future purchase of $30 or more. And you know if I go back there, me being a nerd, I am going to spend like $30 at least again, so that'll be great. I'll use that in the future for sure. So, their rewards are actually worth having. So, screw you, FYE. Thank you, Hot Topic. <laughs> and in other news, let me just continue showing the things that I got, which is the real point of this video, and not <laughs> just complaining about all the stores. I found this really cool Zodiac palette. <laughs> I, If you've seen my channel for a little bit, you know that I am a huge nerd, but I'm also very obsessed with makeup. I love doing makeup. I didn't today just because I had a lot of things to do. I've been busy adulting. I'm actually setting up for my road test finally. It's about time. I tried to set that up for today, but that didn't work out with our schedules, I guess. So I had to reschedule and I felt like a flaker, but I digress. I also have a lot of packing to do this week for college, but... I'll probably do a life update video in a little while. Anyway, I'm sorry that I'm getting so off track in this video, but this palette, it's super cool. I think that Zodiacs are really interesting. I like to kind of read about them just for the fun of it. It's like such a big thing for people nowadays. It's this huge trend, pretty much. And if it matters to anybody, I'm a Leo. I feel like I don't exude the great Leo confidence that we're supposed to have because I'm actually kind of insecure and working on myself every day, but I am proud of my Zodiac even though everybody makes fun of Leos for being extra. I am indeed a little bit extra. But I just think it's kind of cool to see the different personalities assigned to Zodiacs and whether or not a person actually matches that. I am a Leo dating a Virgo. 
And supposedly, according to astrology, we're not supposed to be compatible, but here we are. Anyway, getting into this palette, I actually really adore this. What really sold me on this, other than, like, the gimmick, was looking at the actual colors. It doesn't even do it justice on camera. These are so, like, glimmery and beautiful. And opening up this palette, seeing all these colors, I was like, wow, these are gorgeous. I have to own it. But then a part of me was like, wait, you have to check the Leo color. <laughs> if the Leo color is bad, you can't own this. That would suck. But no, I got this nice, soft, beautiful pink for the Leo color. So I was like, great, they assigned me a bomb color. I'm taking this. <laughs> So this palette has 25 color eyeshadows, and it's also a highlighter palette. So obviously I get these colors, and then the mid colors, and highlighter in here. And I like this mirror that's included. It's pretty good. I already got some fingerprints on it, sadly. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to devote a whole video just to this, because you guys know that I like to test out makeup on camera. For those of you who actually watch my channel. I really love playing with makeup. It's a lot of fun. So I'll probably do swatches of this whole palette as one of my next videos. And maybe I'll do a look on camera too and just see how I feel about it. And give my thoughts on it. With how beautiful it all looks, I haven't dipped into anything yet. But I just want it all to be on camera and real. So... I have no idea how this is going to go, but if the colors show up on my skin as beautifully as they do in this palette, it's going to be fantastic. Anyway, getting into the rest of the bag, from this point on, it is all going to only be one type of merchandise, and that merch is Sailor Moon. I adore Sailor Moon. Actually. What originally got me into Sailor Moon was these three DVDs right here. I got the Sailor Moon movie, The Wrath of Emerald, <laughs> and Save the Universe. So they were really random. Obviously, I wasn't starting at the beginning of the series, but me being a small child at a yard sale at the time, I did not care. I just decided that I would watch them anyway and see how I liked them. And from that point on, I fell in love with Sailor Moon, and I had to start at the beginning of the series. I think I made it uh, at least halfway through the third season, and I kind of, like, trickled off of it. To this day, I still haven't finished the original anime, but I did read all of the manga. I own the first two volumes, but I've read it all, and I adore Sailor Moon. I have a Sailor Moon poster in the background that you might be able to see there, and I have a Sailor Moon hoodie that I'm in love with. Sailor Moon is just fantastic. It's just one of those original magical girl anime that I can never get out of my head, and I've just always wanted to be kind of like Sailor Moon. I love her because she's a crybaby character, but even though she complains and she's emotional, she still goes through and tries to help people and do her best even when she doesn't want to, which is something I can kind of relate to, because for a lot of my life I felt kind of like that crybaby character too, but then she really grows and blossoms into a strong person who really loves her friends, and I can't lie, <laughs> I just love it. I haven't watched the new Sailor Moon Crystal either, aside from a few clips. And that's honestly because I didn't dig the CGI transformation process, but I'm debating whether or not I want to change my mind and watch through the series, because I do adore Sailor Moon, and I'll probably finish the original as well at some point, too, because I love it. I don't want the manga to be the only thing that I've completely finished. But anyway... They had so much Sailor Moon merchandise, and it took all I had in me not to buy more of it, because they had these really cute hairpins too, but I ended up getting these Sailor Moon earrings. They kind of got tossed and turned in my bag, but I really, I really love them. One for all of the Sailor Scouts, for Sailor Moon and Mercury. 
Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. And all of them have their little gems and colors attached. I love it. I've been wanting some new earrings, and these are just perfect. And then the first necklaces that I saw while I was there were these Luna and Artemis ones. Actually, these might be bracelets. I'm not... Yes, these are actually bracelets. Never mind. Excuse me. But they were so cute, I couldn't help but want to buy them. <laughs> and I found two more necklaces that I also fell in love with, and I was like, oh no, I can't choose. Guess I won't choose. Guess I'll get them all. So I ended up getting this one as well, a little compact transparent. It's just so adorable. I love it. And I also like even just the quality of this little backing here. It's so shiny and thematic and perfect. And then my final purchase of the day. was the Sailor Moon locket. I'm actually really obsessed with lockets. I think it stems back from when I was a kid. I don't remember what book series it was, but I remember there was this character that always had this locket. And I was like, I want a locket necklace. And I was obsessed with them. I ended up getting some. And they're just so fun. You can put little things in there and it's really cute. But... I love this one. On the inside, it says, in the name of the moon, I'll punish you, her signature phrase. So I really love it. It's so cute. And do you know I am going to be sporting all of these goods at one point or another? I feel like this one doesn't close very well, though, so that's kind of sad, but I don't know if it's entire. Yeah, it just, it goes in, but it doesn't actually close very well. But I'm okay with that. It doesn't bother me that much. I've got another locket that's kind of like that. It's like one of those color changing mood necklaces. And I just really adore this one. So I'm just really happy with everything I got. It made me nerd out so hardcore. And looking at all this merchandise kind of brought me back to my childhood. This was also something that was a huge part of my childhood. I first started reading the Pokemon Adventures when I was pretty young. Um, and I used to draw lots of pictures of Pokemon and draw pictures of the characters, and I was really into it. I made it to black and white before I stopped reading it, and so lately I had picked it up again because lots of people on the internet were suddenly talking about it again, and I really wanted to throw my thoughts in there too. And also, it was really nostalgic, and I wanted to catch up to the series where I had left off and finish it off. So yeah, um, all of this just ended up being really fun and sentimental to me and the trip overall was great i was invited out to go shopping because i've been working a lot and i was just really stressed and they thought that this would help liven my mood and it really did it kind of shows just like how doing stuff that you love can really help improve your mental state and what i love is being a nerd i love anime i love manga and <laughs> it's crazy just how watching a show or reading something can make me feel completely different, so I'll probably always be a nerd forever, and I'll probably continue to always make videos about that kind of stuff. And I hope that some of you guys enjoy watching. I feel like this is more of a video for me just reminiscing and having a good time than maybe it would be for anybody else, but I really do hope that you still enjoyed. And maybe I'll leave off this video with a question. What is a very nostalgic anime or manga for you, or just something that brings you back to your childhood in general? It doesn't necessarily have to be related to anime or manga at all. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more content, and I'd really love to see you in another one. Bye!